Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature, and it's time once more for my weekly painting progress. So, as I have been lamenting over the last few weeks here, the house has been in utter disarray, but it, the light has finally been reached, they're done, and I can finally get back to painting. So, I didn't get a whole lot done this week, but I did get a little bit. So, first off, I've got the Inuit Chief here, once again from Paymaster Games. And i got to say, I've really been enjoying trying to build this stuff, paint this stuff, and figure out just how it should look. Because, let's be honest, there's not a whole lot of reference material out there yet. So, I decided to do my duty and try to help out with that. Uh, I do like this guy. He was a single-piece model. I don't know when I showed him off in a video. Have I posted that video? I don't even remember. But he's got the cool, like, traditional sunglass glare visor thing going on there. I wasn't sure how to paint those masks he's got on his belt. And I felt he needed a little bit of color on him somewhere because I was using way too much furs. So he's got a little red pouch there. I don't think he probably would have had a metal spear tip. I could be wrong. But that's what I went with because he's going to get used in fantasy games anyway. So there. Probably should have given him a more icy base, but whatever. So that is the Inuit Chief. Besides him, I've got a couple other Paymaster models. I got the flying head that I was going to mount on a base. And it worked out perfectly. Yeah, it's a intercessor, oppressor, whatever, and dominator. The flying dudes from Dark Imperium, I had a bunch of extra bases and I figured why not use them productively so it's great now he's ready to attack not the greatest paint job but you know I think it, it works and I really like the base with it I'm like I'm really happy with how that turned out he's just a big head also from Paymaster we've got the revolutionary snake Uctena yeah I I don't know I tried. I really tried with this thing, and I don't know if it was just the paints weren't cooperating with me or what. I'm not 100% happy with it. I tried to make it look like the Uctena that is on the cover of the book. Was it the book? I know it's on the website. At least it was the banner for one of the earlier Kickstarters. I liked the red hard scales and then like the blue patterning underneath it on the softer parts in the plain underbelly but me and white paint just don't mix well and I tried it I played around with some of those contrast paints as well it just just didn't work as nicely as I would have liked but you know what nevertheless it is painted so I can say that and it's at least different from what's out there I almost feel it's too wonder reddish with the spots but eh, that's what they had and I kind of like the design I should have gone with the red stripe around the eyes, but a little too late for that. Besides those three, I did manage to beat my score last week. I got one of the models from Arena Rex's Ludus Magnus school finished up. He's not super complex in terms of paint jobs, but he's painted. I went with a silver mask instead of the bronzish color that they have on their website, but then again, they have, like, actual professional painters painting their stuff, so, you know. He's done. He's a big dude. In case you're curious. And finally, we also had, back on track here, yet another Kingdom Death model. This is the Screaming God pinup. With some major underboob going on there. She came out okay. I tried again, just like I was painting her bandages at the same time I was painting the wraps, not the wraps, her wraps and bandages while I was painting the Uctena over there. And it just didn't really turn out as nice as I would have liked. But then again, I'm sure there's some amazing painters out there who are going to do a much better job and they'll show up on By Lantern's Light or on Instagram or something. But I'm happy with mine. She turned out okay. I figure I did a reasonably decent job, and that's all that really matters. And once again, having to paint a Kingdom Death thong, we're getting really good at that. I like the horns. I like her pose. I really wish that her hammer was a little bit longer. The art makes it look like it should be. 
but I'm hoping that when we see the plastic release, she's even bigger and bulkier and just more large, <coughs> for lack of better terms. Not that she's small by any means. I mean, check this out. I mean, our Ludus guy is almost as tall as her, and yeah, she's got that big custom scenic base there, but still. I really hope the plastic one's even bigger. I really do. And she's going to have her own special base with weird phallic fungi things as well. So that's probably one of my top five pinup models I think I'm looking forward to painting when the Kickstarter stuff. Inevitably, sometime between now and 2025, hopefully sooner than later, shows up. But that's what we managed to get done this week. And I did start quite a few other things. And believe it or not, I know I keep talking about it since December. I am continuing to plug away at trying to get that King of War finished from Creature Caster. Because my Creature Caster backlog is starting to get kind of big now. I did start the Lord of Sacrifice, if anybody's curious. And at the moment, he's got kind of yellowy skin. But I'm not fond of showing off my works in progress because they're usually terrible. So we'll leave this with you for now. So a decent haul of painted things for a very busy week. Plus I was having to run around and go to in services and conferences, which really doesn't help either. Anyways, hopefully you all are out there painting stuff as well. And I look forward to hearing all about it and let me know and show me what you got going on. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.